plastic has become essential in our lifestyle. In 2014, the plastic industry in Europe employed 1.45 million people. But why do we use so much plastic? Because of its low cost, lightweight and durability. 63% of the plastic waste comes from packaging and many other products contain plastic. Most of the plastic waste ends up into the ocean. There is an estimated amount of 5.25 trillion plastic pieces in the ocean and 8 million tons of plastic are added per year. To give you an idea, this is equivalent to one municipal garbage truck pulling up to the beach and dumping its content every minute. So which countries pollute the most? All coastal countries contribute to the ocean plastic problem. However, 50% of the plastic trash comes from five rapidly developing countries. It is estimated that globally only 5-10% to of the plastic trash is recovered. In Europe we recycle around 40%, while the USA only 8% annually. And the rest? Part of the plastic that we daily use is buried in landfills, but most washes off into the sea. Plastic is designed to last and will be in the ocean for decades or longer. Plastic pollution poisons the global supply of seafood. Through the sunlight and waves, some plastic in the ocean breaks into small pieces less than 5 mm called microbeads, which are very small and very toxic. Nearly 700 species of fish animals and seabirds face problems due to the intake of plastic on a daily basis. Marine animals like turtles or fish accidentally ingest plastic debris which cannot be absorbed in their bodies. Both the entanglement and the ingestion of plastic can be fatal and lead to dying from choking, intestinal blockage or starvation. Just to give you an example, some fishes were found with 83 pieces of microbeads not digested. But plastic is not only dangerous for the environment, it is harmful for people. By eating fish or other seafood, which was contaminated by toxic chemicals from plastic, we are slowly poisoning our bodies. Plastic pollution can have negative effects on human activities. Fisheries have to spend time removing the plastic from their nets. It affects transportation because it causes navigational problems or tourism because it affects the perception of quality of the environment. The most effective solution to minimize plastic pollution is to create prevention policies to ensure that it never reaches the ocean at global level. But all of us need to contribute to keep the oceans clean. Use reusable products such as cloth bags when doing shopping. Reduce the amount of plastic, for example by bringing your own mug for coffee. Buy products with little plastic packaging or products made from recycled materials. Even if the problem seems so big, different projects are studying innovative solutions. One example is Ocean Cleanup. It consists of long floating barriers, which allow the ocean currents to passively gather the plastic. Once the plastic is concentrated at a central point, it can be collected for recycling. Be part of the change.